Does an open Wi-Fi login page mean it's secure? Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for AskLeo.com where we've been talking about things secure and not secure since 2003. Here's today's question. Many hotels, airports, and other places with an open Wi-Fi hotspot display a page that I need to log into or accept terms on before I can connect to the internet. Does that open Wi-Fi login mean it's a secure connection? Absolutely not. This is one of the very, very easy to confuse issues when it comes to open Wi-Fi. There's secure and there's secure. There's protecting yourself and there's protecting yourself. Let's take a quick look at what it means when you connect to an open Wi-Fi hotspot. When you connect to an open Wi-Fi hotspot, your connection between your laptop and the access point is not encrypted. Now, if on the other hand, you are asked by Windows or by the device you're using for a network security key, that then implies that you're connecting to something that isn't an open Wi-Fi hotspot. That probably is secure. The key difference is whether or not you need to give Windows that security key in order to be able to connect at all. Now, if you don't, if you don't have to tell Windows anything about the Wi-Fi connection and it truly is open and you can bring up your browser and if your browser displays anything, anything at all, be it the hotel's login page or the grocery store's terms and conditions page that I see from time to time when I'm out and about, you're on an open connection. That is not secure. That page that you're seeing has been provided over the network to which you are already connected. That page is being given to you over an open Wi-Fi connection and anybody within range can see that and anything else you do on that connection. The information on that page is typically not for your protection. It's actually for the protection of whoever's providing you the Wi-Fi. If you read it carefully, they're probably telling you things like you can't download videos, you can't do massive things, you can't use it for illegal purposes, you can't cause trouble to other users of the network. You get the idea. It essentially gives them a set of terms under which you are allowed to use their connection. And if you violate those terms, they then of course have the right to kick you off. But legally speaking, then they can also claim that it's not yet their fault because you agreed to these terms in order to use the connection. But once again, this has nothing to do with your security, but has everything to do with protecting their behinds. That's really all that what they call an interstitial page is all about. You're connected, it's open, and now they're asking you to jump through a few more hoops before they'll actually let you get to the internet. So let's take a quick look at a couple of uh, Wi-Fi network examples because as it turns out, in preparing this video, I noted something very, very interesting. What you're looking at are the networks available to one of my Windows 10 laptops. And you can see that it is connected to something that it thinks is secured. That's a great way to not identify the fact that this is a secure network. If it just says connected, or it says something about it not being secure, it's an open Wi-Fi network. The only time it's secured is if it says it's secured. Now, have a look at this other laptop. This is a different laptop in a slightly different location in my home, same set of networks, but you'll notice that there's a very different notation associated with each one. In one, each of the secure networks has a little padlock icon, but on the other, it's the open networks that have a little warning icon. I cannot explain the difference. The important thing to note is that Windows does try and tell you the difference between open and secure networks, and you need to understand which one it is, 
on your machine that indicates a network is open. The interstitial page that you end up having to do at some locations has nothing to do with your security and you need to protect yourself. And of course, we know all of the different ways to protect yourself using an open Wi-Fi network. I have an article on that. I have a video on that. And I'll suggest you have a look at that if you're at all concerned. But please don't take the interstitial page as meaning anything other than the person you're using the Internet from is protecting themselves and not you. For updates for the article on which this video is based for related links for comments and more visit askleo.com slash 16526. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.